About corals by Chloe. Close your eyes and imagine you're wrapping tight to a diving gear. You're standing on a boat, ready for an adventure. You jump into emerald green water as salty wind blows your eyes. You swim along with a colorful fish, and there stands a giant shipwreck, standing still for hundreds of years. And then you see a something attached to the shipwreck. You get closer and closer and closer, and you see a paradise of fishes. I chose to explore corals because they're interesting and fascinating. Corals are very important to marine life, and people explore them to find out more about them. And our exploration of corals has changed over time, and it also impacted people and places. Corals are sessile, which means they don't move around. Instead, they're attached to a hard surface, like rock, shipwreck, or even skeleton of other corals. There's two types of corals: soft corals and hard corals. Soft corals are called soft corals because they do not have hard, rigid skeleton. Hard corals are made of limestone and have very rigid skeleton. Corals are important because it provides home and nursery ground to many fish spices, and 25% of marine life can be found in coral reefs. That's a quarter of mining life. Corals have impacted people and places. Coral reefs have impacted people because many people earn money by catching and selling fishes in coral reefs. Corals also impacted places because Florida and the Caribbean Sea is famous for its coral reefs. Our exploration of corals has changed over time too. In 19th century, divers dive into ocean wearing suits made of metal. But nowadays, divers use good suits made with new technology. But corals are disappearing. There are many reasons why, but global warming is one of the most serious causes of its disappearance. To protect corals, we should try to stop global warming. Nobody knows what will happen if corals are extinct. That I used to make this eye movie. Thank you for watching. I hope you like it.